Okay, got the seats out. I've got the sliders here, some bolts and hardware. And here is one of the mounts, and there's the other mount. These mounts mount to the slider and then allow the seats to adapt into the K20 truck. More to follow. All right. Well, I took those four ugly bolts off. Two in the back, two in the front. Now I'm gonna get this ugly seat out. Let's get this ugly thing out of this truck. This thing is ugly. Ugh. I hate that seat. It's going bye-bye. It's ugly. Ugly seat. Crappy seat. Ugh, come on. All right. Okay. I got that ugly seat out. Now it's cleaning time. I've got to clean all that ugliness before I put those new seats in. More to follow. Well, start cleaning the floorboards. I peeled off all the flooring because I really wanted to see how it was under there. Being a 44 year old truck, something told me peel everything off and there'll probably be issues. Well, anytime you look at a car, when you peel the floorboards, you find the good news and the bad news. Here's some of the good news. Some of the blue is in nice condition. And here's the bad news. Look at that, the floorboards. Oh my gosh, there's a couple holes there. Rust there. Some rust there, some rust there, but generally the seat part's in good shape. But the floorboards hidden under the, the matting, all those years of People salting the roads and you have to drive all over those salty roads when you're in the winter. People get in the car with wet feet, with salt on their feet. And look at the results after many years. It ate holes through the floors in one area, two area, three area, and a little bit over there too. But I'm gonna pull these seat belts out and I'm going to mop the seats up, make sure they fit in there real good, and more to follow. Well, here's the good news. The good news, I got the seat sliders on. The bad news is this SCAT seat kit, the bottom goes to the truck, you know, the truck floor. But there's these special slider rails I have to get from SCAT, special rails that'll connect to those. So these rails won't connect to this rail because this one has to screw into that. So I have to buy these rails. So there'll be a part two to this as soon as I can order this scat rail system that bolts onto this since this one doesn't have the provisions to bolt onto that. So. That kind of screws that idea, but I'll show you what I've done in the truck. Look in the truck, you'll see I've got those scat seat rails bolted down to the floors. So they're bolted down to the floor. So all I have to do is put the special scat slider, which screws into these sides right here. And then I can screw that to the seat and then have the seat installed. So it's just, you know, I'm just getting that kind of luck. First I find floor, holes in the floorboards, but what I did temporarily is just spray Rust-Oleum paint so the rust doesn't get any worse. Put some nice big floor mats in there. Hopefully I'll have the seats in there before that. And well, more to follow.